What's up guys, it's your boy JD and welcome back to my channel, JD Plays Games. I'm going to be doing something slightly different here. I'm, I'm going to show you how to record for over 30 minutes continuously on a DSLR camera. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I've watched probably all of the videos on YouTube that show you how to do this and still couldn't get my camera to work. So what I wanted to do was show you how I use my old Nikon D3300 that I had laying around as my camera for my game walkthroughs and live streaming. That is much better than a webcam and needed to find a way of recording a live streaming for over 30 minutes. What the problem is, is that manufacturers limited recordings and live views to 29 minutes 59 seconds in most cases to avoid an increased tax placed by the EU. So. If they recorded over 30 minutes it would be subject to higher tax um, so anyway what they've done they put that 29 minute 59 second limit on and what this basically means is that when I'm recording a one hour gameplay walkthrough I have another timer which shows me when it gets to about 29 minutes turn off the recording on the camera and start the recording again and then when I go into my editing software to put together that video I need to cut and chop and make sure it's all smooth and, uh, and continuous as it can be but anyway to, so how I got around this is what I'm going to be showing you today so let's get into the video okay guys the first thing you want to do is connect the USB cable between your camera and your laptop or PC in my case I'm doing this using the cable that was supplied with my Nikon D3300 what I'll do I'll quickly show you on my phone um, how I've got it set up so as you can see I've got the USB cable plugged in directly into the side of my camera and it should be a bit clearer hopefully and that is going in to a hub over here which then therefore goes into my laptop I've got the USB cable going uh, into the camera and into a hub then into my laptop or you can put it directly into your laptop so that's connected. Uh, another thing that I recommend is to purchase a power adapter for your camera if you haven't got one already. So what it allows you to do is basically uh, just keep on recording and plug your camera battery in to a, to a mains port. So you've got continuous foot, uh, recording going on on your camera otherwise what happens is you do what I do at the minute and that's um, you charge the battery and after maybe an hour and a half the battery is going to die on you so especially if you're doing live streaming you want to get one of these power adapters I'll leave a, a link in the description below of one that I've got well, one that I've ordered which is on the way but a lot of the time on the older cameras they look like a battery but with a cable coming out the end Okay, so the next thing you want to do is download a software called Ecamm. So I know there's others out there like Sparko Cam, but they weren't compatible with uh, older cameras like mine. So, um, and also Sparko Cams, it, it, it might work on, on Mac, but it's, it's predominantly for Windows, whereas Ecamm is for Mac, which is what I'm running on. Anyway, I'll put the, the link in the description below for both of them. So it's pretty much a similar process for, for either. So if I just open up the browser, you should be able to see Ecamm now. And on here, you want to go to Ecamm.com and you want to download a software called Ecamm Live. And like it says, it turns your Mac into a live production studio for broadcasting, recording and so on and so forth. So what you want to do is download that. And once you have got that done, you want to go and uh, open up that software and I will open it up so you guys can see but here we go so what you can do you can see we have something here called scenes we have the sound levels we've got the camera effects you can see that I'm using the standard FaceTime camera um, you can't see the preview I've got a preview box in the middle of the screen here because I'm currently recording which shows me what what the software is actually recording um, but one quick thing what you want to do before you go ahead and start buying stuff is go and do the free trial because you just want to verify that your camera works with the software without before you start going and spending money um, so do the free trial get logged in once you've done that you want to make sure like I said your camera's plugged in via USB into your laptop the battery is plugged in um, and turn the camera on obviously take the lens cover off the front of the camera because you're not going to see anything and once you're on here what you can do is uh, click on the top you will have a 
a tab at the top and if you go to camera there's a camera tab at the top here you can see my D3300 popped up so if I click on that there we go you'll be able to see um, now my camera footage is probably changed to the D3300 as you can see 10 times better than, than the FaceTime camera uh, obviously depending on what lens and whatnot you've got on I think I've got 35mm lens on at the minute but it gives you so much of a better video and it looks so much more professional as well so now that I've got the D3300 selected um, another thing along the top bar there's a tab called options if you click on that and turn on high quality video mode that will help improve your video quality also where it says stream size and stream aspect I'm currently recording so I can't select these but as you can see I've got 16 by 9 and I've also got it on high 1080p even though it says stream it also impacts your, your recordings so make sure you've got them three settings uh, defined another useful tip is on the right hand side you can see sound levels here you can adjust what microphone you're using uh, if you've got an external one like I do which is a blue snowball make sure you've got that selected and you can adjust the gain of that microphone um, in camera effects you can also do some things in regarding temperature, brightness, saturation and so on and so forth I know with Ecamm Live you can um, with the pro version you can make your camera into a virtual camera so in OBS you can select the camera source vir Ecamm virtual cam and your, your uh, DSLR will appear in OBS and the good thing with that is as long as you're running this camera through Ecamm it's, it's displaying via the USB so the camera will not go in sleep mode I've tried this for well over an hour and, and it doesn't go in sleep mode so let me just show you that so you can uh, see some footage I've recorded for over an hour so if I go ahead and show you one that I done the other day um, as you can see look 36 minutes 27 seconds long and the quality is way better than what you'd get on the webcam it looks way more professional it looks like them proper professional youtubers that you get um, doing the gameplay walkthroughs so that's one you can see 36 minutes 27 seconds and I've got another one which I actually done yesterday um, which was 59 minutes long and it's just perfect absolutely perfect it looks so much better than your webcam so guys make sure you give it a go um, like I said do the free trial it's not going to cost you anything you can see whether your camera is compatible if you're not working on Mac make sure you download Sparko Cam on uh, Windows that also works with a lot of cameras the thing is Sparko Cam didn't work with with my camera model because it's probably too old uh, but they did have the later Nikons and Canon, uh, Canons and um, Sony's and Panasonic's on there. So give that a go. But um, if you like the video, make sure you obviously like, comment and subscribe. Let me know how it went for you. And also let me know if there's any other videos that you want me to do. Alright guys, peace.